We have a new sticker from Paul at Haxby Shed. Uh, he's, uh, he does some great engineering and his channel's well worth a look. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be an update on the engine and what's been made this week. Uh, the, the parts were so small, um, you'd have seen more on the back of my hand than any machining. Um, so I've elected to just sort of show you what has been made. I'll zoom you in. These slide bars um, have to be quite accurate. These machined out of stainless steel. These two or three castings here then have to have uh, a slot put in them. Um, and then it's screwed from there to there. Um, and it's worked out lovely. It's the first time that, you know, some of the bits have all come together and you get an idea, well, how close you've made it and uh, whether it's going to actually turn over by itself. So I'm pleased with it. I've even got the, uh, the piston rods. Let me bring you out. They're working fine. And it was always a worry of me, mine, sorry, um, to make the crankshaft out of solid and get the dimensions spot on for the heads here, the holes on the separate caps that go there, and everything else really. It, it, it's, but if you stick to dimensions as old-fashioned as the drawings are, um, it's worked, and I'm really pleased with it. Um, this one drives the vacuum pump here, once it's connected, and this other arm does the water pump. And if you'll notice here, I have copied an idea from Steaming Andy, if I can ring you in closer. I put a bush in there and then it has an o-ring on top there um, what else have I made um, I made the uh, connecting link for the Stevenson's link um, if you look here that's going to drive the actual valve um, another idea of uh, Andy's was to use uh, M4 by 7.75 thread. So you have a finer thread and a finer adjustment as well, uh, which is a great idea. So here we have it. And I'm amazed how smooth it actually runs. I'll turn it round for you as well. I'll bring you back. Zoom you in. So yes, I'm 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 quite chuffed with it. Um, next thing to make is going to be the pistons. Um, it comes with piston rings. I'm going to use O rings for this one. Uh, I think piston rings can just have too much friction. Um, it's all possible to do, and I have them, but I think O rings are the best way to go. So that's basically today's video. Uh, sorry it's short and sweet. I've put this in, in view for Stuart at uh, Shenanigans. Uh, I watched his video this morning and he was uh, having the same problem I have with uh, measuring bores. Um, and it's, it only works a little bit better just to have it there. But anyway, that one's for Stuart. Uh, hope it helps. And... Hopefully, I shall have a, a video of this water pump next week. Um, people tend to cut this in half. I'm going to try and uh, do it all as one piece. Uh, it's any reason why you shouldn't. So that'll be uh, the next video. So it's short and sweet. Thanks very much for watching and see you next week.